hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video i will show you a library management software that i have developed in c++ so let's get started here this is the project that i have developed this is the coding of entire project which is too long to show that's why i will start by running the software first of all it's printing the current system date with the time and then there is a header which contains the name of the library, the address, the telephone number and the pin code. Here comes the first logic that I have put in this software. First of all it's asking me to enter the right password. By the way right password is 3020. But to check what will happen when user enter the wrong password, I will enter the wrong password. Here it's saying that wrong password try again and you have two chance to enter the right password I will enter wrong password again now it's saying that you have one chance to enter right password now I have exceed the limit that's why it's printing the message that you have exceed the limit to enter the right password the program will be terminated so program is terminated now let's rerun it now I will enter the right password which is 3020 and we have entered inside the application here is a list of all the operations that you can perform to manage your library you can add a new book into your stock you can give a membership to any new member you can remove a book from the stock you can remove a membership of any member you can issue a book to any member you can take a book deposit which you have issued recently you can view members account just by entering the members code you can search for all the books or can search for a particular book in your stock and you can keep track of books that you have issued recently and just by entering a 10 you can get exit from this application first of all I will start with 8 so after entering 8 I have entered in the stock section and it's giving me the two options first to search for all books and second to search for a particular book I will search for all books and I have got the complete list of the books that I have in the stock there is ISBN number, the title of the book, the author name, the edition and the quantity of each book and it's also giving me the total number of books that I have and which is 5 and there is three options y to continue m to menu and n to exit i don't want to go to the menu or don't want to exit i will enter y to continue now i will search for a particular book i have entered the isbn number it's not a valid isbn number so book is not found message is printing i will try again now I have entered the valid ISBN number which is 9091 and it's printing the information of the book whose ISBN number is 9091 so let's add a new book in our stock I have entered ISBN number is 9056 title of the book will be Maths John Smith So it's saying that book is added successfully to check whether the stock is updated or not let's go in the stock section and as you can see there the book is added successfully whose ISBN number is 9056 so let's get to the, go to the menu again now we will check the members account I have got two options search for a particular member or search for all members I will choose the first option and I have got the complete list of the members that are inside my membership diary there is a code of every member which is unique the name the number contact number the age and the membership validity and it's also giving me the total number of member which is six I can also search for a particular member just by entering the members code so if I enter 101 it's giving me the information of the member whose code is 101 now let's add a new member I will give the name is John Smith 
age will be 23 validity will be 4 years telephone number will be code of the member will be 920 the member is entered successfully let's check whether it's updated in no or not yeah the member whose name is john smith and code is 920 is updated in the members diary now let's issue a book before issuing a book let's check a list of the books that we have issued here is the complete list of the books with their code of member which we have issued first there is a code of member 135 and the ISB number of book 9067 which means that we have issued a book whose ISB number is 9067 to the member whose code is 135 now let's issue a book I will enter the ISB number as 9091 so it's saying that book is found and it's giving me the information of the book whose ISB number is 9091 now I will enter the code of the member which is 920 and it's giving me the information of the member and after it it's giving me the message that the book is issued successfully so book is issued to the member whose code is 920 let's check in the list section and now as you can see there there is a code of member 920 and ISBN number of book 9091 is displaying because we have just issued a book go to the menu again now let's try to remove a book as you can see there is a book whose ISB number is 9091 and if I want to remove this book what I can do is that I can go in the remove book section I will enter the ISBN number 9091 and it's saying that book has been successfully removed now let's check whether it is updated or not 9091 and now book not found message is displaying because there is no such book because we have deleted the book whose ISBN number is 9091 now go to the members account search for a member there is a member whose member code is 920 and now if I want to delete the member I have to go to the remove a member section I will enter the code which I want to remove 920 and the member has been successfully removed let's check whether it is removed or not 920 invalid code of member it's saying that invalid code of member because we have removed the member whose code is 920 now let's take a book deposit enter the code of the member 920 member is found but uh, it's not displaying the record because we have just deleted the members information that's why it's saying that and but it's giving me the ISBN number of the book that we have issued to this member and the book is deposited successfully so let's go in the list and now as you can see there there is no such code of member which is 920 and ISBN number which is 9091 there because we have take the book back to this code of member we have deposited the book so that's it in this software we have to press 10 to exit from this application so that's it in this video if you like the video hit the like button and to get updated of my latest videos consider subscribing thanks for watching <laughs>